Welcome to Film People TV. My name is Esther Andupu and today we are going to be talking about sex for greats. You're wondering what it is, right? Well, in this day and age where our educational system is on the verge of depreciating, every single day is becoming something else. When educators extort students or they are, or those who are being educated under them sexually in order to get better grades. This is one of the things that makes our educational sector on the fast rate of deteriorating every single day. Let's forget about gender. Let's forget about, oh, is a male, is a female. Or, or she's a female, he's a male, whatever. Why do lecturers constantly, both monetary and sexually, extort their students in order for them to get a passing grade? Several times we keep complaining about sexual harassment and everything, but nothing is being done about it. So I want a good grade because I'm beautiful or because I'm well endowed with what God has blessed me. You choose to extort that for me, forgetting that I can also be a very smart woman who can also read and pass your class. You see lecturers saying, um, please, after the class, meet me in my office. Why does this go beyond the classroom? Whatever passes the confine of the classroom, if you're not a teacher that is willing to impact knowledge or worried about a student's well-being, there is no need for me to come to your office. It's appalling to hear that I, who have worked very hard for my grade, will get the same grade with someone who you just spent the night with. It's very sad in our society, but this is what is going on. Our girls need to wake up. By the time you say no to him, by the time you rebel against all of this, you get the, it's better for you to fail than for you to pass without deserving it. Because some of these careers in which you venture into, it's not about just passing it. It's about how will you do in the field of like when you're put in the field of that perspective career. Girls who go through sexual harassment should speak out. Anyone who makes any moves towards you sexually, you should report it to the nearest authorities so that they can be dealt with. Yes, you say he will fail me, he will do this, he will do that. But if you don't speak out, your right to be, keep on being trampled up. Why do I need to, why can't I be beautiful and smart? What is wrong with what I have written during the exam that's not worth me passing it? Or is it because I'm beautiful or well endowed by God that it must be seen to be a crime that I cannot be intelligent as well? Well, I do believe that it's in the hand, once it happens to you, or if you don't even need to, if you notice it happening to someone around you, you should report to the nearest authority because sexual harassment or sex for grades should not be taken for granted. There are people who have worked several day and night trying to get that same grade. You, who haven't done anything, just because of your body is getting the same grades with them. How well will you do in the field? If you're being put in the field, how are you going to show what you've learned when you haven't learned anything? Our educational sector is slowly coming into little or no remarks or even existence. I believe we should take it into our hands and report such misconduct in our society. Thank you very much. This is Film People TV. Please click on our subscription button. It's just one click away so that you can learn more. Thank you.